Hi, I'm David Compton, and I'm playing Sherlock Holmes in NCT's production of Sherlock Holmes The Final Adventure. Hi, I'm Marin Miller, and I am playing Irene Adler in Sherlock Holmes The Final Adventure. Basically, the rehearsal process is we start at the beginning of the play, and the director puts it on its feet through blocking. So if we got up there and like try to do it like after just having handed the script, it would probably be a giant mess and <laughs> wouldn't be as much fun to watch. We have to get good at it first. We have to do, wow, uh, you know, 25, 30 performances of this thing. And it, while it's always new and different, it always has to be the same. At first it was very exciting to to get the offer, then it became very intimidating. I came into this um, adventure um, not knowing a ton about the catalog of Sherlock Holmesian um, fiction. The first few days, I was, I was really scared. I was really freaking out. I started finding out that there were these television shows about Irene Adler um, and I thought for a second, I was like, maybe I should start doing that, like, a whole lot of research. My preparation involved reading some of the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, but I didn't want to read everything. Like if I watched someone else play Irene Adler, I was concerned that then I would accidentally be doing their interpretation of Irene as a po or Miss Adler as opposed to finding her finding who she is inside of me. I read enough for it to sp spark my imagination. And then the rest of the time, I just think about it. And then just come in here with a bunch of stuff rolling around in my head, which is probably why the first couple of days in rehearsal, I'm going, ah, oh, oh, until Scott can take me and go, okay, we're going this way. And I go, oh, okay. Do I have to stretch to get into character to, to play Irene? You know, kind of, yeah. Get in to play somebody really smart. <laughs> uh, that's really cool. It feels really good on an ego level to like get to play somebody that's smart. Because I truly see him more just like a hyperactive kid. The only woman to ever best Sherlock Holmes. Well, he's only been bested, what, four times in his whole career? Like that kid in biology class who was like really excited about dissection. <laughs> you know, he's that kind of guy. And this time by a woman. And, um... <laughs> it's a cerebral thing, but, uh, for Sherlock, but it's like Christmas morning, you know. And he's gonna go down, knows he's gonna go downstairs, and the living room is gonna be filled with, you know, toys. And so it's, yeah, it's, it's that kind of mentality for me. This is how I'm approaching it. He's a big kid. Is Irene on the good team or the bad team? Hi, Sherlock Holmes, The Final Adventure runs at Nashville Children's Theater from September 13th through October 7th. Public performances are Saturday at 2 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. and Sundays at 2 p.m. And this show is perfect for families, grown-ups, and children 10 and up. Come and see Sherlock Holmes, The Final Adventure. You think you got what it takes to solve this mystery?